Hey, beautiful people. It is your girl, T. I am back again to bring you a review of the Joanna Basford's uh, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, A Magical Tale to Color. Okay, so we all know Joanna Basford from the bestsellers of Secret Garden, Magical Jungle, just to name a few. Well, Joanna Basford is a Scottish illustrator an artist who loves using pens and pencils to draw her intricate illustrations. She doesn't really like using digital imaging to do her work because of her um, whimsical um, effects that she likes to give her books. So um, she decides she likes to use pencils and pens. Um, her studio is pretty interesting. It's supposed to be like a converted farmhouse with large windows that overlook the surrounding fields of Abenshire, Scotland, where she lives. So let's get into the book. Uh, the book is eight and a half by 10 inches. It has 117 pages with something to color, not full colored pages. Some of them only have little um, things and we'll get into that in a moment. Um, and then there's two inside flaps to color. So let's go into the book now. I love this, the foiling on the book is gorgeous. There's green and gold. That's really pretty. Now, I've heard a lot of people kind of complain about this uh, this book because they're saying, oh, it's just a, it's a storybook. Well, I mean, you know, artists have to do what they feel. They have to do something that is inspiring to them so that they can create this beautiful work. Um, but here's the inside flap. So yes, it is a storybook, but if you think of it this way, it's something you could pass on to a child that you've colored with the story, a beautiful story in it. So um, I say thumbs up, thumbs up, Joanna Basford. This is great. I love this concept. Um, I think you're probably will be the first person to even think of doing something like that. So thumbs up, two thumbs, two thumbs up. All right, so here we go. Of course, she gives you your nameplate page. Everybody loves doing these. We have a little girl over here. Get this in the picture a little more. Sorry about that. This is the first time I'm kind of cracking this book open, so please bear with me. The pages are kind of bent. I was kind of stuck together here. Look at this. This is so cute. I love this little messy room <laughs> with all the little little cluttered room. It's so cute. Then we have the butterfly. I think this butterfly was in a contest that she had, coloring contest. So she's put it in this book. Um, but you know. Each page has something to color on it. Uh, not, you know, some of the pages where you, she has the text will not have a whole page, but it has a nice bordering. This is gorgeous. Look at the little peephole. I know there are other reviews of this book, but I wanted, you know, just to give my review of it. You got your you got your flowers and leaves that she she does so nicely. You still get that. Um, in this book, she's attempted to draw a little girl, so that's really nice. Um, I know I don't draw people very well, so I kind of stay with trees and flowers and things like that, too. So, people, nah, not so much. This is really, really pretty. Just thinking about how I would like to do that. The paper is thick. You can hear it when I'm turning the pages. It's really thick paper. It's not. It's not. It's not bright white. It's like an off white, which people like. Some people don't like that though, but I, I like it. Now here's a page um, where I, I count it as a page to color because there is something to color on the page. It may not be a lot, but it is something to color. So I will count that. It's 
It's really, really nice. I love this page. You can do all the gold and the jewel, practice coloring your jewels and practice coloring metal if you choose. There's a mandala for the mandala lovers. It's like a cut out of this page. I like this little bird. He's really cute. And there he is in his workshop. I guess that's his workshop. So this is a good book because um, you get to kind of practice coloring a lot of different things, not just flowers and trees. And you know, she's added mushrooms here. I guess that's a really popular thing to color right now. Um, but the jewels. And she's added people. And she's added you know um just different types of things to color she's even added food so she's actually expanding what she puts in her books besides just flowers birds um you know tr um leaves and things like that she's giving us jewels and she's giving us you know food and people and i think that that's a great accomplishment for an artist to be able to expand and give us something great to color something we're used to but something new and the fact that this is a storybook is great I love the chandelier that's gonna be really nice to color and here's another page that doesn't have a lot to color but I counted it as a page to color because again you can still color that She's given us a dragon. I liked her dragons in her previous books. So we got a lot of butterflies in here, which is nice for people who love butterflies. Again, here's another page with text, but doesn't you know have a lot to color, but it's counted as a page to color. And this one as well. I have not yet read the story, so I plan to do that before I color it. To try to get into, you know, what this story is really all about. Um, if, you know, children read by, <laughs> by you know, the illustrations. So, if I were to read just by illustration, I would say that she's in some type of wonderland. But I don't know because I didn't read the story. We got some ghoulish looking things, kind of Halloweenish here. <laughs> That's cute. I guess she's saying farewell. Looks they all have they all have little napkins or tissues or saying goodbye to her. And then we have some butterflies. We're coming to the end of the book. Like looks like she's written a, a note or a letter. And then we have some, a lot of people don't like these, they think they're filler pages, but uh, it's alright, I guess. Here's a nice big um, mushroom with a picnic on top. It's cute. And we've come to the end. And then she has some test pages back here so that you can color. And then we have the flat the back flap okay and that is inky I'm sorry <laughs> Ivy and the inky butterfly by Joanna Basford a magical tale to color I hope you've enjoyed it I know I will have a good day